Hello. Okay, it's time for approximately three months review on the Telltale DB14 that we purchased, my son purchased for himself. Um, if you watched some of my videos before, you've seen that we had uh, some issues with the original engine. It was uh, had problems from the factory and we had it replaced. And uh, anyway, I'm going to talk about this bike and uh, a couple of things. First, I want to say that this side cover uh, is not the one that came with it. The side cover that came with it was lost when uh, the new the new engine arrived without the side cover that I sent back. So that aside, uh, the new engine has been operating just fine. Uh, the bike has done really good. Um, after I got the machine, I initially went over and tightened all the bolts, put Loctite on everything, um, and. Uh, We've ridden it, all, all three of us have ridden this bike, and uh, I've rode it pretty hard. I did a top speed video, which I'll be replacing with a newer top speed video that has gauges pretty soon. And hopefully we'll do a ride video here in just a few minutes, but just wanted to talk about this machine and how it performed. It's done really well. Um, haven't had too many issues with it. Uh, it starts easy, it shifts easy, it handles the bumps really well. Um, I'm 200 pounds, it hauls me around just fine, which, uh, you know, it's made for a, it's, you know, it's made for somewhere around 10 to 10 or 12, 13, you know, year range, you know, depending on the size of the person riding it and uh, skill level, you know. Um, it's I'll take you around to the other side seems to be a really good machine um, especially if a person if a person is able to uh, to work on one I don't see why you could uh, save yourself a lot of money with one of these is this this bike is a Chinese bike and it, it's a copy of a Honda at least the engine is the rest of it, it you know um, who knows parts are easily available online and they're not expensive any anything on it is pretty well inexpensive so I, I like it I'd buy another one now your your particular uh, experience could be different we're not really hard on our machines and you can go look at our videos and um, see that we don't ride super hard you know we don't jump the highest and, and you know take them through the worst mud and anything like that uh, but it's a great looking machine everything seems to be good on it and sturdy for the most part um, there's you know uh, like I said, I will buy another one. I'll buy a bigger one for me. It would be fine. I'm not afraid of it. Of course, I'm mechanically inclined. I can pretty well take the bike apart, put it back together, no problem. And actually, you see me pull the engine. And uh, on a video, one of my earlier videos, when I had to take the defective factory engine off. Um, some things I'd like to see different on this bike would be... Uh, I'm not real fond of the way this is. I think I need to move it over here, the off, on off switch, because it sometimes you bump it by accident when you're riding. Not too often, but on occasion. It's probably more of an issue with me because I ride it a little harder than my son does. Um, the other thing I'd like to see different is, see this axle bolt here, okay? And the, the adjuster for the chain. I'm going to show it the other side. And the other side has a much bigger nut on it. And uh, for the axle. And there's no graduation here. I would like to see the other side be the same size as this. Okay. And then have this graduated. Have a little graduation gauge here. So you can see 
how to line the chain up nice and straight because if you look if you look at where that one is okay just eyeballing it and then you look at where this one is eyeballing it you're thinking hey this isn't straight but it is this one's just bigger round so it's covering up the amount of slots showing for the chain adjustment i mean it's not an issue it's just it would be nice to have that graduation there you know where you can see your adjustment it's not like it's a problem um, the disc brakes work well um, they grab really well actually i'm surprised at how much uh, I like the graphics. I know that doesn't help the bike be good or bad. I just like them. They look nice. Um, I like the fact that it has an engine plate because uh, that can be an issue. We, we ride where there's some big rocks and things, so it, you know it can be an issue. Um, nice big brake pedal. Nice, nice big foot pegs. Those are nice. Um, and we got ours we got this one stickered out pretty good some of our friends have sent us stickers uh, uh, like i said there's just a few things none of it's deal breakers as far as i'm concerned you know like i like a bigger seat but i'm from a generation that had bikes had bigger seats so um i put a clippy on this uh on this tube right here because sometimes this thing would pop off when pressure would build in the tank before this this is a relief valve and uh this thing actually popped off while we were standing next to it and we laughed from pressure so i put this little clip on and it hasn't done it since um but yeah that's the tau tau db14 and uh it's it's really good and i think uh if you ride moderately you know not if you're a super hard super high jumping you know just pounding a bike into the ground it may or may not be for you but, but just for good old trail riding and some ramping and wheelie popping and you know peeling out and all that good stuff i think it's going to do fine for people uh, i think they kind of get a bad rap because everybody's like oh it's, it's junk but i don't get that from this bike i can maintain it you know, parts changing is no problem. Uh, this is the 110, and it's uh, four speed, all shifts down. So, um, but it works good. One other complaint, it's not really a complaint, it's just something I wish that was better, is uh, this air filter. I wished it was tucked a little more up under here, you know, and maybe a little bigger not for airflow reasons but just for um more filter element means less changing you know you don't change as much i know they make a sock for these and i probably need to get one for the finer dust um we've laid this bike over a few times riding it you know my son has and i have too we've, we've actually laid it over on its side and what tends to happen is it'll leak some gas in here and sometimes a little oil will come up from this vent and get in this filter and it tends to block it up and then the bike will start running bad and uh, as soon as you clean this filter it's ready to go again and uh, that happened to us we rode and uh, rode it home and uh, it didn't want to run and was spitting and carrying on and it was only because this filter was stopped up from us we laid it over three times that day no, I'm sorry, we laid it over four times that day. And uh, hill climbing and just, you know, odds and ends, it happens when you ride. And I still got to paint the side cover. I had an extra one laying. Um, but anyway, I think I'm going to start it here, show you how hard it is to start. Now, this bike is, uh, it's got a lot of compression. And like I said, I'm a full six foot, 200 pound man. And uh, it's got a lot of compression. You get it on the compression stroke, sometimes you really have to kick it. But I mean, as far as it, is it hard to start? No, it's not. I mean, you'll see here. Works great. I mean, bike runs good. It's just 
sitting there huh, idling as good as it can be and it starts easy when it's cold this back actually i rode it around the yard a minute before i did this video so that wasn't a cold start but that's what a cold start typically looks like kick it once and it's running i've never had to use the choke on this bike of course it's summertime um the bike has a good sound it's not too loud but it has a great sound to it and uh, I just really like this bike anyway I'm going to uh, stop this right here and then go get my helmet and everything and go for a ride and we'll see about maybe getting the speed run all right thanks <laughs> 